So what do we got here? Uh, approximate the area between H of X, that's the curvy thing, good, mm -hmm. and the X axis, all right, so the blue region it looks like, from X equals negative two to X equals four. Yep, that's the blue region, got it. Mm -hmm. Using Riemann sums, what are Riemann sums? Um, uh, I know it's a specific, like, a, I guess, equation, right? Don't worry about the equation. Okay, um, I don't remember off the top of my head. At its oh. simplest form, rectangles. Oh, that's right. So, so and, and you can go back into the equation for like, why did rectangles get us that equation? Like that's what the guided notes help for and what we went through in class. But it's just a reminder that like that equation means rectangles. Why does it mean rectangles? We got to kind of piece it back out. But like at the end of the day, rectangles, right? Yeah. All right. So this just says that I want to do rectangle addition. Like we can really simplify these concepts down. Rectangle addition is all we're doing here with three equal subdivisions. So that means I'm splitting this up into three regions, right? Yeah. All right, so let's split it into three regions. Uh, looks like this is gonna be region one, region two, region three. All right, so I need to make rectangles over those regions. They need to touch on the right. So let's start to make these uh, some pictures. I think you have the ability to do a uh, drawing on my screen. Do you see a little green bar at the top that says you're seeing Kevin's screen? Uh, yes. Next to that, you should see view options. And if there's a drop down, you can click on annotate. Um, well, it says a zoom ratio and side, side by side. By okay, side so yours, yours might be off a little bit. Maybe you're on uh, looking at it through a web browser. Totally fine. Okay, so if I want this to touch on the right-hand side, then I need to make a rectangle like this, but that doesn't touch the curve. I need it to go up to the curve. Okay, so that big rectangle is what we're talking about. How do we feel? Good. Is that a great estimate for the area? Oh, uh, no, no. Right? Like nowhere close for at least the blue region that it has. Right. Is it an estimate for the area? Yeah. Yeah. Like, is it great? No. Could we make it better? Of course, we can always make it better. That's the whole point of running a limit. So mm -hmm. like, it's not about, is it great? It's just, is it something? And can I write that? And can I work with that and understand that I can always make it forever more perfect? Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and this one also needs to touch on the right. So that's going to touch on the right. And then this one has to touch on the right. So it's going to touch the curve on the right. So it says the size of all of these rectangles combined is going to be about the size of all that blue region. Uh, maybe. I mean, this is a little over, but this is a little under, and I could fill in some of the gaps. It's not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's the idea we're playing with. So we're just trying to get an estimate here. Um, how big are these rectangles? What's their size? Um, I mean, do you want width and length? Yeah. Um, I mean, I want their size, so I want their area, actually. Yeah. Um, so I guess the first one's two by four, I think, yeah. Good, so rectangle one size is a two by four, which gets us eight. Good, rectangle two. So also, or it's two by six, and then that would two be 12. Two by six, 12. And then the other one is two by four, so eight again. Eight, all of them together gets us um uh 28 all right so our area is approximately 28 square units yeah there it is okay right uh, like is it great no we can make the rectangle skinnier that would be better because then this yeah. one would have touched on the right side here this one would have touched on the right side there this one would have touched on the right side there like that's already looking much much better mm -hmm. right but it's just a matter of like, do we even know how to begin these explorations and write them as stories? Then we can run it. So at its core, this is it. Like that's that's what we're doing. Sometimes we'll write that less with numbers and more with expression because mm -hmm. with an expression, I can run N as many big mm -hmm. as I want. And that's the power of having it as an expression with variables instead of having it here with a number. Because this locks me in. Now I've just got a decent pretty much bad guess like this is just a bad guess i can yeah. make better bad guesses as long as i keep plugging in numbers but if i eventually allow myself to use variables then i can get a structure that takes me to forever perfect that's mm -hmm. better yeah okay but there you go that's it
Um, may I ask why you didn't put the third one like to cover the rest of that little area up there? Because it had told me to do a right ream on some. It specifically asked me to build rectangles that touch on the right. Okay. Uh, give me a second. I just got to close the door. So you are com so you are completely right. That right rectangle, like that rightmost rectangle, is a horrible rectangle to approximate the area. Mm -hmm. But all of this is being motivated by the fact that like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where I place the rectangles because I'm not trying to make the rectangles perfect. I'm just trying yeah. to put the rectangles down and then I'm trying to run it towards more rectangles. Okay. More rectangles is how I make it perfect, not by making my bad guess slightly better. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you want, uh, why is my, oh, that's why it's being weird. Give me one moment just to kind of uh, show something that'll also help capture this. This is a beautiful animation. I'm talking about Riemann sums. So let's take out the trig because we don't need the trig. That just overly complicates things. All right, so let's just imagine that we wanted to fill in this space right here. We wanted to get an approximation between one and five and a half. Mm -hmm. This is a, an, an estimate. It's a bad estimate. It's obviously too small because it's everything's underneath. Could I make it better? Sure. I could shift where I build these things. Like I could make it so I, my rectangles cover a little bit over and under. I can make them so that they're all over. Uh, but in truth, it's trapped. Like there's a there's a highest it can go and a lowest that I can go with any of these approximations. And my truth is somewhere between that. How do I get the truth? We don't try to make each rectangle better. We just run the number of rectangles up. And oh. that causes all of my overestimates to, to become better. It causes all my underestimates to become better. And it squeezes the truth out of that confinement. Oh. So it doesn't matter how good our initial guest is. It doesn't matter what our setup is. It doesn't matter at all. It's all going to get squeezed to perfection. Okay. So does that help out a little bit? A little bit, yeah.